Hello everyone, Warwolf here. Today is Tabletop Tuesday. But, it's not Tuesday. We're going to do a small one today. Uh, today, I'm going to do an unboxing instead. Uh, it's the first of the Tabletop Tuesday series. Um, today, we're going to be unboxing the Magic the Gathering Ikoria Lair of the Behemoth pre-release booster pack. Um, Tuesday, I'm going to do the big pack itself, and we'll see what kind of pulls we get. So, let's get right into it. Alrighty, guys, so here we have it. We have the Magic the Gathering Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths pre-release pack. Um, I just acquired this today. I know there have been some other videos where, um, people have done a couple of these before. There isn't exactly anything too, too special with the sides or the bottom. Um, just this picture is kind of interesting. Um, I would assume that they are going to try and show the size of things because it is a behemoth. So, we are going to start opening this and see what's all inside and hopefully I get some good pulls off of this one. And, uh, we'll go from there. So, let's start here by getting this open. If I'm not going to struggle with it, of course. And whoop, get rid of that plastic. All right. I'm gonna slide this out of here. A little bit of nick in a in the top corner here. No big deal. Kind of almost shows that in the box itself. And it shows the same picture on the back of the inside box. All right. So I got. A nice little white and kind of, uh, I think there might be a little bit of brown color to that. Ikoria dice. So I'll put that over here for now. And I am not going to quite spoil it. I do not want to see what the promo is. But it is in this little pack right here. So we're going to set that off to the side for now. Um few little other odds and ends in here. Um, looks like we have a cardstock uh, tokens. That way you can tell what your creatures have. Um, typical instructions. A little divider. Kind of interesting. Breaking some crystals. And instructions on how to mutate your creatures. Uh, your creatures in this one are now able to mutate. So we will also, let's see, that should be it in the box. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll set that off to the side. And you know about these already. Now, we have six packs. I'm going to start right in the middle somewhere here. And time to open number one. It's just going to be a quick little one for you guys today here. Um, like I said, I will do a larger box on Tuesday when it is actually Tabletop Tuesdays. I'll go a little bit slower through this one in case you guys haven't seen any of these before. Spellcaster Wolverine, Garrison Cat. Looks like we're going to be... Creating creature tokens again. Um, also, when I get to them, the uh, uncommons, rares, mythics, that kind of stuff, I will. Uh, ooh, mysterious egg. Hmm, that one's gonna be nice. Um, I will put like a current value for you guys. You'll see it probably like down here or. Over here somewhere. Pacifism. Blister split. Oh, blister spit gremlin, sorry. Alright, so we're hitting our uncommons here. Um, this one I will definitely make use of. Will of all hunter, okay. 
there are there is my rare for this first pack so we got those and I don't know you guys can't really see it too too well but this oh there we go nice rainbow color to the foil it is a common but that is okay rugged highlands and a beast token all right I will set these off on this side here we go pack number two I am if I am correctly the uh, king of monsters is going to be in here um, I'm hoping to get Mothra if possible but never know these glimmer bell blitz leech ooh okay um i haven't been doing magic for too long i uh kind of recently got into it so i am understanding the whole um the whole building a collection idea that everybody tends to have with magic these ones have seemed to have been pretty good so far mythos of Iluna there's the rare of this pack we'll see how that goes I'm hoping for a few more uh, foils or I'm hoping to get at least one mythic out of this we'll see if we can manage to do that one or not and another special lands they're always very handy for me the more special lands the better the less lands that you actually have to put into the deck that you're building whether you're playing commander or standard or anything else I'll go through a little bit faster here Rated Scorpions, I've heard a few good things about those. Um, Aegis Turtles are always nice. Get a little defense on your side. As far as my uncommons, got that one, Trumpeting Gnar. This mutate ability is kind of interesting I guess course wood crasher is my rare that one is kind of interesting and a basic land and a shark creature token with flying so apparently we are going into sharknado land I mean to each his own Just zip through these real quick. Some of these are. I'm gonna have to see where I can put them in a deck exactly. Um, I did open one earlier on my own during a draft. Air Tactics, Archipelago, and here we go. Very first mythic, Vivian Monsters Advocate, Legendary Planeswalker. This one's kind of nice. It's a uh, it is a full art or um, I can't remember what they're calling it now. But put that one somewhere. Put it somewhere. Put it right here. In regular swamp or forest and some more tokens. We got uh, let's see two more packs to go. I mean, I already got the mythic that I was looking for, which is nice. Adds more mythics to my collection. Um. <clears throat> Another Blitz Leech. A couple of these I haven't seen yet, even though that um, they have been leaked a little bit. 
Honsing Sore Shark is my first one for uncommon. I like that one, that's kind of interesting. So we got that one, it's got another mutate ability. Oh, two of them in one go. Parcel Beast and the Mythos of Vadrock is my rare in this one. We got another uh, dual lands, another token. And here we are opening our very last pack. Don't mind me just kind of like tossing these over here. I'm trying to keep these as nice. Probably going to sleeve them after. Um, I prefer dragon shields myself for protecting your cards. Um, but that is your personal preference. I guess if you want to down in the comments section put down what you guys like to use for protecting uh, your cards. Maybe I will look into them and see if they're a little bit better than the ones that I use. Mystic Subduel, Falfa Crater, and Duskfang Mentor are the uncommons. And Mythic number two the Copper Coat Outcast, Legendary Planeswalker. That's cool. I'm glad I got two Mythics in that one. And the foil in this pack, if you guys can kind of see it a little bit there. Not exactly. There we go. Got to get that good light in there. So that one is going to go in this one. And then we have our basic land and another token. Now, last but not least. I'm not going to open this one out of this pack yet because I'm going to keep it in here until it gets sleeved. But for the big moment, the pre release card is the Everquill Phoenix. It is a foil promo card on its own. This one, I don't know where this one's going to go yet. I, haven't decided although I didn't have very much time to decide but that was what I got in the pre-release pack um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys get some of the cards that I got whether you're a collector or a player or whatever you may be um, good luck hope to see you on Tuesday when I do the big box and then um, we'll go from there. I will have a little surprise for you on Tuesday as well. And I guess we'll see you next time.